Mitsuzaki. I'm not sure what that word means, but it's like traces of the the kanji before. Um... Uh, hiseki means handwriting. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I was gonna say the other one is for like pens and stuff, right? Or it's mm -hmm. like handwriting. It is. Right. Uh, or uh, maneru no wa uh, nare wa mono de uh, hmm. Not sure oh, this is two, oh. which is the counter for letters, uh, mm. like tegami. So it's uh, nitsu or futatsu? Uh, I think it's nitsu, would be my guess. Okay. But I don't actually know for sure. Because it's itutu, so normally, like, if it's futatsu, then the first one would be like hitutu, right? Hmm. So. Uh, nitsu no tegami wo kaita. Um, so Tom, uh, I'm not sure what maneru means, but I'm assuming they're getting used to um, copying or like um, uh, replicating their father's yeah. handwriting. Um, maneru and they, means a copy. Hmm, and they uh, writ two letters. Yes, uh, and it's Tom doing this. Yeah. To because Tom is used to writing like the dad, he's able to do it. Hi. Um, itsu wa aran, uh, yo, itsu wa jibun yo da. So one letter was for Alan and the other letter was for himself, Tom. Um, next line for you. Aran no wa sono nitsu wa uh, chui fukaku yonde. Uh, Anshin star. Um, Alana um, carefully read the second letter um, and uh, felt or like her, her mind was put at ease, I guess is the best way of describing. Yeah, I think the Nitsu is in this context is probably both letters, Sono Nitsu. Oh, just the two letters. Yeah, I see. It's just like over here, it says he wrote two letters. Mm -hmm. Um, it just uh, because of how it's been like one is this, one is that. Which one would be the second letter? It's not really mm -hmm. clarified in the previous sentence. Uh, it's gonna be fine, there's no way to uh, distinguish the one that Tom wrote from the one that uh, is real. And next line for you. Uh, Tomo is no sekini, uh, motare kakari, uh, niari to waratta. Um, they, I don't know what that, uh, motare kakari means. That's like the lean back in. Hmm. Uh, they leaned back on their chair and um smiled or something along those lines hi that is what it is perfect torikaiko ga akurumi deru made zettai nannen mo kakaru ni kimatte iru sa so it has it obviously it's going to be quite a few years before um the fact that they switched the these letter switching is going to come to light hmm. Uh, Tomo wa, uh, I'm assuming that means like horse riding, but I'm not sure what the pronunciation yeah. is. Uh, I think it's Joba. Joba yo, like with yeah. the last kanji. But uh, it's always yo, the last one it doesn't really hmm. edit anything. Yes, it is Joba. Tomo wa Joba yo no skato ni kigae modo wa. Um, uh, Tom uh, changed into the horse riding skirt um, and mode um, brought Alana to somewhere. 
Hi, the Kesho Shitsu is the bath is a bathroom. Ah, uh, um, is it just like the big fancy word for it? Have I've only ever seen it in this book, so I uh, okay. <laughs> maybe it's the old fashioned word for it. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Maybe like it's the lavatory or something. or something, you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Um Arana wa chat to zubon to uh ni kigai. So Lena's changed her clothes to be wearing um a uh shirt and some pants, and I'm just gonna read the next one as well. So they got a modo ga arana no kami ni wa sorry ni hasami o ire and then after Alana changed clothes, Modo goes over and cuts um, Alana's hair. And next line for you. Pants ni hanashite oku koto ga aru kami no taishu no hi to fuja o yuka ni otoshi nagara Modo ga itta. Um, Hitofusa, and I'm not sure what that means. Hi, um, hito comes from hitotu, so that's that ichi one. And fusa is a counter for like tufts or bundles of things. So here it's mm. a bundle of hair because her hair is being cut. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, I'm not sure who's asking. Oh, no. Hi, uh, the person uh, talking modes. here is probably Moldo. Yeah, it says at the end. Um, so Mode's saying, like, you had something to talk about? Or, no, they're saying that they have something to talk about. Um, uh, as they're, um, whilst, like, they're, like, cutting their hair and it's falling on the floor, and, like, the pieces are falling on the floor. Hi. Nani, Arana wa shinpai son ni kita. Um, what do you want to talk about? Um, Arana asks, uh, in a kind of worriedish kind of way. Next line for you. Uh, Anthony wa yashi no maho ga aru. Modo wa hasami o hat. Uh, ugo, ugo gashi. Uh, tsuzuke nagara itta. Um, so he said, um, you have some kind of magic. I'm not sure what the word is. Hi, um, healing said, magic. Well, healing? Okay, yeah. Um, um, Mode said as they were continuing to um, use the scissors. Atashi no yori chioi shi, atashi no shiru kagiri, dari yori mo chioi majoku da. The magic you have, as far as I know, is stronger than anyone, stronger than me and that. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. it says uh, it's it is stronger than me, and it is, and as far as I know. It is stronger than anyone. Uh, wait, what's over there? Next line for you. Uh, sora ni hoka no maho mo motte iru. Uh, am I reading down to the next bit as well? Yeah, that was pretty easy. Uh, anta wa sono chikara wo uh, uh, manan de tsukai konaseru yoo ni naru daro. Um, so I said, as well as that, um, you have other kinds of magic, um, uh, for Nasuru is making me stumble, but, uh, like to master, I think in this context, it has like multiple possible meanings, but hmm. that would be my guess. Like you have to learn it. Okay. So I was saying, like, you have other kinds of magic, um, or that there are other kinds of magic, um, but you need to master and learn them first. Hi. Perfect. Probably. Taro. Demo, chiryo no maho, sore ga kanji nanda. Kino no ban, nita yo, are wa keikoku da. So she says, however, that um, healing magic. That is the one that is the most essential for you to learn. Um, last night, I saw it. It was a warning. And the rest of the line for you. Kamigami ga mimimoto? Hi. I'm not sure what the word means, but. Uh, so, moto 
when it's added to a body part means the area next to that body part or the body part itself. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's kind of like adding tokoro. Hmm. Uh, de, saken de borareru yo na mono da. Uh, sore kurai wa, no, sore kurai hakkiri shiteru yo. Um, so, uh, something to do with you know shouting. what orareru means? Uh, it's like the fancy version of uh, irareru, right? Yes. So the subject here is the kamisama doing this to who is talking, right? She said, I saw it last night. The gods, they, sakende irareta. I think it's because it's saying, uh, it's because it's with de. I thought it was like with. So I was like, well, yes. how are they shouting? Uh, they're shouting oh. with their ears? <laughs> it, in this case, it's like the location, right? That the, the gods are shouting at. I see. Okay. <laughs> You're right. That is a little bit weird because that is more commonly used as tools than location that. Mm -hmm. It might just um, be have to do with passive form. It'd be an interesting thing with that. But the, the gods were like shouting or whispering into their ear. Um, right. Uh, I'm not sure what the last bit is. So, sorry, wa, sorry. Sorry, hakiri. so hakiri means like definitely for sure. And mm. um, it is saying it, that this is just making this for sureness so that it's a verb and not a adverb because hakiri is an adverb. So you can't just say hakiri da. You can't end the sentence in an adverb. So suru is just there so we can say for sure at the end of the sentence. And yeah. kurai means that amount, so that amount is for sure. So the knowledge that um, he, it's very essential for her to learn them how to heal people, that is very important. That's how much she knows from what she saw last night. That's like the one thing she knows for sure. Because um, mm -hmm. the gods were yelling in her ears. Aranna wa kamegame ga sakendeiru sukata wo mi ukabete warai o so Elena, she the the image of the gods yelling that just kind of popped up in her head and it kind of made her want to laugh, but she held herself back and did not actually laugh. And for you, um, kami kami wo warao nante. Does say bara or bachi? Bachi. Bachi a tarina. Modo wa. Um, uh, it's a crime to laugh at gods or something along those lines. Right. Um, Mode says in a very strict way. Perfect. And isameru specifically means to like scold. admolish. Yes, to scold. So she scolds hmm. in a script way. I don't know if that really like matters. Um, ma. Anta mo suguni omoi shiru daro. Sore wa douyu koto? It says, well, I guess you'll actually um, come to realize that yourself. And it says, uh, what do you mean by that? And the next, um, I think I'll do, have you do this whole paragraph because the beginning looks okay. like teeny tiny sense. Kinishu nan no, uh, or kinishu na san no, uh, ii kai yoku o kiki, o ken ni. Dekakete, uh, ikyo, ikyo, nashitogeru ni wa, uh, hito no inochi o uba o koto ni naru ka mo shirenai, uh, shirenai te, uh, kangai te, kangai te mita koto ga aru ka ne. Um, I get like tongue twisted. Uh, mm -hmm. the, um, I'm assuming Mode is saying, is responding to them, uh, and they're just saying like, hey, like, chill out, listen to me for a second. Um, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what Igyo means. Um, um but... Igyo is like, a uh, a great achievement. Hmm. 
and na nashi togeru is to accomplish. So it just is accomplishing great things. Hmm. Um, I say, listen to me for a second. Um, going out and adventuring and doing great things. Um, like, you have to think about the fact that you might just lose your life. Um, and you need to really think about that. And, you know. That is a good guess. So, initio ubao means to steal a life, as in to kill someone. So, if it, mm -hmm. it would have to be in passive form for it to mean like, because she's talking about you. The subject of the sentence is you should think that you're during your grand adventuring and doing all that stuff that you're going to have to kill somebody probably. Oh, right? okay. So it's not something knife. bad might happen to you. It's you might do something bad. Exactly. Like, on your adventures. Okay. Right. Um, Arana wa uh, kuchibiru o kanda. Mm, nai. Arana wa tsunao ni mitometa. So Alana, she bites her lips and she says, no, I never did that at all. Because kotogaru means, have you ever done that? Um, have you ever even tried to think about the fact that you might kill somebody? Um, mm -hmm. And so Elena, she says, oh, no, I never thought about that. And she just obediently says that after biting her lip, just admitting that, yeah, I've never thought too hard about killing people. Um, two lines for you. Uh, uh, the first kanji is for, like, influence, I think. Yeah, eiko is uh, honor. Hmm, eiko is uh ミニ入って入ってなかったのさ。うん。でも人の命を奪えば父親を苦しさ家族を殺す。はい。If but uh, many height that sounds better. <laughs> mm. uh, so they said that um, I'm thinking it means something about like, like I didn't really care much about like honor sort of thing. That's a good guess. Um, so first part was so that all which is uh, I thought that would be true. As in, I thought that Alana would not have thought about a single second about stealing somebody's eyes. Because this is Modo talking, talking about um, Alana. So mm. this is Alana. He says, Lana, about you, I think that um, Eiko shika me ni haitte nakatta. Uh, it was like, you, only honor? Hi, only, only honor. Like the only thing that was intriguing you, the only thing that was coming into your eyes was the idea of honor. Like you, honor, you fame, glory, about. that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but if you steal a life and um, father passes away, um, the only thing that will remain will just be sadness. Or something along those lines. Yeah, I do think it's funny. It's his um, father here. Because um, I think it's just the only thing that's going to reign is sadness and the families that is that has lost their parents, basically. The idea is that Alana, as a knight, oh, would mm -hmm. be killing men who are fathers. Right, uh, right. I, I believe it's the thing. So you're just leaving behind sadness and the people who love them, basically. Yeah, not their know. father. It's like the... Yeah. I'm I'm ca I'm catching up. Hi hi hi. And um tatakao mai ni kangai da dare to tatakao no ka. So before you fight you got to think about it. Who are you fighting? Um itsu ka fusawa shi teki o mitsu mitsukeru tame dake demo. Um Um, so she's saying the only time you should ever kill somebody, which has been dropped from the sentence because I had a long pause there. I was like, "What?" Is when it is when you're when you find an enemy that is suitable to be killed. 
Mm. Um, yes. Because <laughs> that's the whole topic of the sentence. It's always confusing when things are dropped and you're like, uh, what are we talking about? It's only yeah. at the times when you have an enemy that is suitable at that time, it's got the day. Because it's, uh, pick someone who you want to kill. And that is where we're going to stop because we, we can't give them more than two lines. They'll 